tonight, we're getting extra dark sneaking into Gothla at the Red Rattler Theatre. The Red Rattler is actually my favourite venue in all of Sydney. I performed here when it first opened. I won DIY Burlesque Koala here. Hell, I even had my first short film screening here. Hands down though, my favourite thing about this venue is you can always hear someone winning a meat tray next door. And last prize of the night, then we get 21302. Bingo! Let's get our goth on and turn down the lights for the latest instalment of... Lady Heart After Dark. If you're not familiar with my After Dark series, jump on back to episode one to get yourself up to speed. I'll be once again using my backstage access powers for evil, asking sexy people the sexy questions you want answered. If you don't pay your exorcist, do you get repossessed? I am here with one of my favorite people in the entire world. This is Jessica. Jessica runs Gothla. I want you to give us the entire rundown on the event first before I jump in and ask you some ridiculous questions. Okay, so Gothla is a festival that started in 2007 in the UK and it is primarily a gothic fusion belly dance festival. So here we've like opened it up to a few different types of performers and we're all about providing space for performers who don't get a chance to showcase their more darker, you know, unusual side. Now, because this is a goth event, I have leaned all my questions for tonight in a goth-leaning manner. Fabulous. How stoked were you when the goths took down the Roman Empire? Would you describe yourself more of a Visigoth or an Ostrogoth? <sighs> Look, I was a bad goth. I like the Spice Girls. Um, Get the fuck off my video. Now this show is definitely something else. There's fire, there's straight jackets, and of course, since it's a goth show, there will be blood. This is how real things get at a goth show. Bloody So me. goth and bleeding. So and how did this happen? Oh, I fell over. Where did you hide the bodies? Which bodies? You need to be more specific. Where did you hide the bodies? <laughs> well, look who it is. Yes, I am stalking you. Hello. If you ate yourself, would you disappear or double in size? You disappear, right? Because you absorb the nutrients of yourself. So eventually, Eventually. Hmm. Hmm. I think he'd eventually disappear. Oh, damn. I hope I disappear. Hold up. I gotta go watch my girl perform. <laughs> I made that. All right, back to work. Why do you need an appointment to see a psychic? <laughs> what? Uh, because they might be double booked. Yeah. I mean, I see a psychiatrist and a psychologist. I don't know if I need a psychic as well. Because they don't listen to me. <laughs> Essentially, like, they're too busy talking to ghosts. Like, like, they get distracted. I'm assuming all psychics have ADHD or just bad executive function. Probably because they're uh, not real. Oh, we have a skeptic in our midst. Have you ever, ever felt like this? When strange things happen. Are you going round the twist? twist? Have you ever, ever felt, felt like, like this? this? No. <laughs> what do you miss most about being a kid? The fact that I could run like the Simba from Lion King without feeling ashamed. I think that sort of childlike wonder when you discover new things. Maybe you. Oh fuck, no, I had crippling anxiety as a kid too. Um, <laughs> Nothing, because I can eat cake and ice cream whenever I like, and I can stay in bed all day if that's what I want. I had two minute noodles for breakfast. Oh, wanting to grow up and be a god. Yeah. There you go, you fulfilled your lifelong dream. Exactly. Which color do you think has the worst personality? Brown. Like poo green. Oh, poo green. Like the really, the really ugly one, you know. 
I really don't like yellow. Yellow. The it's like kind of like chartreuse, but not nice. Orange. Not like that. That really sharp citrus orange. Oh, not that not is... not the good Halloween and no, lady there's, hard orange. There's a Let's go see what they're doing in the other backstage area. Oh, you got snacks down here. Yeah, oh, yeah. I should have actually given some to someone. Look at me stealing food. <laughs> Yoink. Yum. Yeah. There you go, baby. Thank you. Ooh. Represent. Look how gorgeous you look. Ooh. I love his outfit. And of course, annoy my favorite photographer. Would you rather have dinner with a vampire or a zombie? Uh, am I dinner or are we having dinner? Yes. <laughs> Oh, definitely a vampire. Zombie would be trying to eat me the whole time. I love vampires. <clears throat> I think a zombie would get a little bit handsy. And I do like garlic, so, you know, vampires might not like me very much. I want to be a vampire, so I'd probably go for that. But how much fun would it be, like, just kind of like being at the beginning of a zombie apocalypse? Well, everyone's picked vampires so far. Mm. I would go zombie to become a zombie because... Look, ignorance is bliss. <laughs> yeah. Is there an afterlife? Oh, that is a, also a big question. I don't know. I'm still undecided on that. Sorry, Neil deGrasse Tyson, I love you. As a Brazilian, yeah. No, Yeah. but I still want to believe that there is. Look, if there's a before life, why not an afterlife? I don't know. Would you like to find out? Yeah. Oh, was that a <laughs> Wow, I didn't come on the show to be threatened. <laughs> yeah, um, can you make it quick though? Uh, I've suffered enough already. <laughs> okay. The Gothler Challenge. Okay, Gothler Challenge for next year. You can only do your makeup using like chemist fucking concealer and one half used black lip liner. That's it. And we all have to share the same black pencil. Yes, and we can only do our makeup in the back of a car. With, with like shit light, like just the, the lights in the car. Oh, yeah. the full 90s goth experience. Yeah, yeah. Like the We're living in luxury these days. Can you prove you're alive? <sighs> Can anyone? Well, I can't remember the last time that there was proof that I have a heart, so I don't know. <laughs> Can I see your death certificate? <laughs> I mean, this could be a simulation, so. Physically, yes. <laughs> Think I'm alive because of anxiety. Yeah. That's a good way to know. The test of life. <laughs> How anxious are you? <laughs> I'm so alive. Do you think I'm ugly? <sighs> That's enough. <laughs> Gothler 2024 has been an absolutely incredible evening. Let's hear some gorgeous last words from Jessica before we wrap this all up. Gothler to me is a community where everyone is welcome. It doesn't matter what you look like or your age or your ability or your size or your gender or your sexuality or even if you are goth, you could be goth adjacent or goth curious. That's totally fine. We love everybody. So thank you so, so much for supporting us and all the amazing artists here tonight. See you tomorrow night or next year. All right, do you want to give anyone a shout out? Oh, uh... Um, or threaten anyone. That'll be good. All right, actually, no, new line of threaten. questioning. Do you want to threaten anyone? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Can it be two people? Yeah. Too bad I got two beans, beans in your bag. bag. You suck up, sucker, corny motherfucker. You know what you did. I know where you are. You know what you can do with yourself. You best step back because I'm, I'm a kill. kill. I'm a kill. This is for an ex friend. I'm doing so good right now. No thanks to you. Check, Check you out, out, punk. Yes, I know you feel it. Anthony Albanese and Penny Wong, I thought you could do better. You have proven you can't. So pick it up or get out. 
<laughs> you better watch your fucking mouth, John. You know how we solve things in Rio? So get that, you know, on your face. Because right, right now, now I'm, I'm a dick, dick kid, suck kid, like your daddy, daddy did. You come to me, my daughter's burlesque show, asking for a favor. If you wake up with a sparkly horse's head in your bed, you know who it's from. Make sure you check out the gothlerau.com.au page for all your gothler related needs. And we are also on Facebook and Instagram. Gotta come full circle with my final question. If you don't pay your exorcist, do you get repossessed? I think you can do a demon payment plan of some kind, you know, like just like little little sacrifices here and there if, you, if you're quick. It's like afterpay, but afterlife pay. Uh, afterlife pay. <laughs> yep. That was my best joke of the evening. Good night. <laughs> uh, lady Heart. Thank you. We love you, Lady Heart. Yes. You're all doomed. Doomed. Doomed.